Well, this project has been definitely an exciting one. We got this camper, actually it's been almost a year uh, ago, and it turned into a very big project. And the motivation was to make memories. Uh, I grew up camping, loved it, went to state parks all around, um, and my dad grew up camping. And he loved it and so I really want to instill that in my kids while we have that opportunity and so this was kind of like a little dream to fix up this got a great deal on this camper off of uh, marketplace it's been a it's been a long haul but it's been a family project yes. honestly we just started really working on it in the past I guess month yes so, yeah um, the little kids bits here and have there. been a part of it they've really loved having a part of just being able to help out and kind of say this is where I'm gonna sleep, this is my spot, or kind of make it personal yeah. to them. So that I think has been really special for all of us. We've loved it and then just dreaming about the first camping trip we're gonna be able to take in it. Chad basically pretty much gutted the entire thing. The interior got a, a big overhaul, a yeah. lot of structural stuff had to be replaced. Um, but then, you know, a lot of it was uh, and we wanted everything to be missing. Yeah, very quality, just so it would last for a long time. So we got a lot of new things. Um, just to make it easier as far as oven, microwave, fridge, yeah. um, hot water, heater. Yeah. yeah. So come along the journey and let us know what you think. Um, God bless you guys and thank you for following our family. My highlight of the whole camper is the, the special table that Chad made. I feel like it just, it made it so special because I originally said, well, let's just get something very simple. But he's like, Aaron, I really want that to be like a showstopper. I want that to be um, just a really pretty part in the camper. So Chad is working on the table today and coming up with a really cool design. So I'm gonna show that to you guys. He's working on the little tabletop. Oh my word, Chad, that is beautiful. It's kind of a play on the chevron pattern. Is that what it about is? about doing a herringbone, but I was like, well, why don't we try something a little different, but it's like that multiple is... direction, kind of like a, a chevron pattern. So a little beautiful. bit, a little twist. So, and I got my little helper. Are you hey, working with dad? What are you doing? Oh no, That's it's okay. Crazy. I'll fix it. Yeah, I can fix it, don't worry. Are you helping dad? What is? No. A dirt? Okay. You sharing fruit gummies with dad? Uh -huh. So he spent so much time on making this detailed table that turned out gorgeous and it's my absolute favorite part of the whole camper. I love it. It's just precious. So here's the current project. A lot of work's been going into it. A lot of help from different people and making progress. This is where the table's going to go. It's going to have like a... Uh, butcher block. We gotta, had to put a patch in the floor, so then we're gonna have some flooring that goes over top of it. Here's our teeny tiny bathroom. Still a mess, but we got some lighting in, some 12 volt lighting. That's the little tiny corner shower. And then we've got some of the kitchens done with the stove in, backsplash. We've got a butcher block countertop, the old sink just with the new faucet there. And then this used to be a seating area. You could see the table mount there. And uh, it used to have some sort of a seating here and then like a bunk system. But I took out the whole thing and added this section so that you can actually fit a t uh, double bed in here. And uh, so that's, that's kind of nice, but it's very cozy, very small. Added a AC unit, a rooftop AC unit. And uh, so, yeah. We're making progress, but we've got a little bit yet to go. There's the 12 volt system. You making some progress today? Slowly but surely, yeah. Look that how pretty, good. this is my favorite part. These beautiful counters. You got this backsplash. It's actually just stickers and then all the trim around the windows. So what you working on? So we're framing in this, it's a- Is that like a it's headboard? A bed. Mm -hmm. it'd be like a headboard. 
I think, I don't know if we leave it like this because you have an eight inch mattress on top. It leaves limited access, but what I thought we could do is I could like do a little cutout. Oh yeah, so you could reach in and get your stuff. Like just a circular. Yeah, thing I love that. Solving, but then you can yeah, let's do that. Reach in and make it usable because we're kind of limited because of the height yep, of the window. Yep, that's a great idea. I love that. Day number like, <laughs> how many days have we been working <laughs> Off and on. Mm -hmm. How's it on. coming? It's coming good. Painting. Painting walls and the ceiling. We're gonna go ahead and use the same color so it has a little bit of a sheen to it's it. It's the creamiest, all. most beautiful white. Alabaster. It's called alabaster and it's gorgeous. Moore. Yep. Look at the green, how good it looks. Goodness gracious. So how many more coats? Uh, so this will be just, one will do this, but then like on some of the cabinets and stuff, we gotta, we gotta do another uh, coat on all that. Oh and my word. Too, so. It's so cute. So your lower in this section is gonna be all green. So. I love it, I love it. How much painting on the bathroom? Is it done painting? Uh, the ceiling has to be painted. Okay. And then the walls, one coat. So are, we're doing everything the same color, the cabinets, the... No, the cabinets are the green. I actually don't know what the color name on that is. I'll find that. But then the But then the cabinets. ceiling and the walls is okay. an eggshell. Um, and that's the alabaster. And then the trim, this is a, a slightly wider cream. It's called Simply White, but it's still a warm, it's a warm white it's for really sure. It's really pretty. Just needs another coat on these guys and yes. the hardwood put on, so. And you just spray painted the hardware gold, right? Yeah, so this is the original hardware. We did like a antique gold and uh, it actually came out really good, so. It did, it's really pretty. And then we're gonna keep the original little handles that have the little clickers so that every all these stay shut. When oh yeah, driving I, I was gonna roads, show them one, but so I don't think they're gonna show. The kids' favorite spot would probably be there's this little cubby that's under the full bed, and it's just really nice and clean under there, and they have little toy baskets and book baskets, and it's a place that they can actually use and have fun. It's like a little kids. hideout for it kids. Is. Another day on the camper. Well, technically evenings because he works paint construction during the day. <laughs> How's it coming? Doing good. How many coats is this? Last coat for green. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be beautiful. You got some helpers back here? Uh-huh. Yeah, they're putting in their little fort. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Do you yeah. find a fort down there? Yeah. Ricky, is that no, your favorite no. spot here? Yeah. Uh -huh. I need a flashlight. It is pretty cool. Is that your spot, Evie? Yeah. Okay, I'll shut it. Goodbye, Evie. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's gonna be so darling. So we're getting close to the finish line, babe. What's left? Daddy. Well, we got a couple more cabin doors to put on. Hey, baby, what? Okay. She has a drill in there? Yeah, it's got a light on it. Whoa, what you drilling? Do you like the camper, Evie? <laughs> Where are you gonna sleep at? Yeah. Where's your sleeping spot? Oh, in the cabinet? You wanna be in the cabinet? That's Is that comfortable enough for you? You think so? So you have painting left. The bathroom's coming together. We got our new toilet. Gonna add a mirror, trim. Hey, we got the mattress on. And the cabinets. Wow, are you just adding the hinges to it? Yeah, and the hardware that we refinished. Oh, so, so we just spray painted what they yeah, had. Yeah, that one's not a good representation. Okay, but let me get a better one. <laughs> that one is. So oh, it's it so has a little, beautiful. It has a little catch right here when you're driving down the road. So we wanted to keep these, and so you just push it and it pops open oh, like that. So convenient. It's just back. And the bathroom. Oh my word, it's so vintage looking. I love it. Yeah, I just think yeah. it's darling. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. It looks so good. So this actually turns into a twin bed as well. Yeah, yeah. We're kind of a big family, so being able to fit in here is everyone's number one question. Yes. Um, it's actually very convenient because the table area turns into a twin bed and the little girls are sleeping there as of now. Because they're all small, you yeah. can literally fit all of them on a twin bed easily. Yeah. And uh, so 
this will won't last long, but it's while, definitely while an we have from it, a camper. Yeah, while we have it, camping. yeah, from tent camping. All right. While we have it, mm -hmm. and then Carson has a little mattress that we have under our bed, the full bed. So in the little hideaway, that's his little sleeping spot. And then little Finley, either she's with us or in her little bassinet thing. So um, we're stuffed in here, but I think we're gonna make the best memories together as a family. The, the bathroom on this was pretty a neat experience because it's a whole fiberglass unit from the shower all the way up to the sink was one complete unit. Uh, not really seen anything like that. You know, this camper was built 1977. So it was an almond color, kind of that old style almond fiberglass look. And so we ended up using a, like an epoxy type of a paint that you can paint over those types of uh, yeah, it makes those it types of materials, so the fiberglass tubs, and, and so it basically made it white yeah. and with a little bit of a gloss, and uh, so it's just really uh, refreshed it, and uh, it fits for such a small space. It was perfect, and really couldn't you, we couldn't do any better on it. So got a new toilet. That's nice. All the kids are excited <laughs> about using it. They were just like, oh, I want to be first. I want to be first. And I love the butcher block countertops. I feel like they're just. Um, a statement piece and they're so pretty and really budget friendly compared to other countertop um, yeah. options. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of neat little things that we try to utilize in this space. Um, this area is kind of the kids corner. We have crafts in the cabinets and paper, pens, crayons, books. So it's kind of their area um, to make this special for them. And then Chad was extremely creative by our bed. Um, he thought this is going to be wasted space if we just box it in. So he decided to make a little cutout above our bed. So there's rooms for basket storage and whatever we would use, you know. So I just think it's neat being able to make this space our own and try to use every inch of it just because it's a, a small camp. Yeah, we're good. We're good at using every inch of space. We have. <laughs> we have a lot of experience in that area, but we love it. Um, it's it's been really special. Everything that I did to the camper, I tried to keep in mind like the weight of it, you know, keeping the trim to where it was light cedar, half inch thick, you know, just super th things that did not add weight to the camper um, was what was our goal. That's why we did like a peel and stick tile backsplash for the, you know, underneath the, the so kitchen cabinets. Too. Yep. And uh, just different things like that. We tried to keep the weight off of this camper because you can pretty much pull this size with any VA and um, so it's it was yeah. trying to we're trying to be most versatile with it. We cannot wait for our first camping trip. I mean, I I think I might be more excited than the kids are, uh, more or less <laughs> to see their reaction and their just to yeah. watch them experience mm -hmm. what I experienced as a kid. It's just it's a really amazing feeling. It's just it's just being unbelievable. out in nature. Yeah, just watching the stars and campfires. Oh, yeah. So we're we we cannot wait. Yep, that's perfect. Looks great. Wow, it's so beautiful, babe. Well, it's all coming together. We finally just finished this camper that we've been working on for a long time. Yeah. And we haven't shown the kids yet because um, we wanted them to be surprised. So we're about to show the kids and I cannot wait it's to make memories in here. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, come see it. Daddy has to put the stair down. What do you think? This is so pretty. You like it? Oh my. Look at this, Carson. Okay, look. Okay, look. Oh my goodness. What do you think, Evie? Oh. Do you like it? And guess what's up here in these cabinets? A special crafts for you to do. To see the bathroom? Uh -huh. Oh my god! Like this? Do you like it? Can I see it? The towel! The towel!
watching and following along our journey. Um, <laughs> goodbye from the three of us. <laughs>